Nothing like talking about South American footballers with a South American footballer. Ale Moreno is joining me for this one. Ale, let's talk about Miguel Almiron. He's right there, of course. Not necessarily about what's coming up this weekend for him, but some comments he made where he says or has hinted that he's keen to move to the Premier League mm. because of its more competitiveness than what you'd find in La Liga. Even though we know that South American footballers tend to gravitate to La Liga because there might suit their style more. What would you say to him? But this is a player that thrives on his physical ability to run with the ball. He's quick without the ball, but with the ball, it seems even quicker. He's a guy that can generate that separation in 1v1 situation and loves the transition game, loves the back and forth. So in that regard, I understand what he's saying mm -hmm. because he would be more like the Premier League, that back and forth, that, that ability to to utilize your speed to get away from defenders and then be able to impact the game in transition. That's more like the Premier League instead of La Liga, where La Liga is, is far more about the technical ability of the player. What I would tell him is that because his game has that nuance to it, that ability to generate separation with that sort of speed, he would actually stand out in La Liga. Whereas in the Premier League, there may be other players that look exactly like him, that can do that job. Whereas in La Liga, that kid that can run with the ball and create that sort of speed and create that sort of separation, it's, it's not as common. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't see him nearly as often. I think he's going to find, if indeed the transition is to the Premier League, is that while he does have the speed to compete, I'm not sure that he has the uh, body strength to compete. It's, uh, if you've ever seen Miguel Almiron, he's a tremendous player and a tremendous talent. Could but he change that, that once he realizes the competition there well, is more? Very, and, but he's very slight in terms of his body uh, composition. Could beat him up. Yeah, uh, Couple maybe, pasties. Uh, maybe so. But then do you take away some of the things that he does well by doing that? And so I think he's got to be careful as to uh, just making a decision based on sitting down and watching the games and saying, well, I can see myself that way. We can all see ourselves there. The difference is that once you get to that point, once you get to that level, it may not be the same game that you thought it was. And you may not be able to take advantage of your attributes as much as you may, may have been able to do somewhere where those attributes are not, not nearly as common. So be that unicorn. Be that something yeah. special. There you go. Well, this, of course, is stemming from the fact that he's been linked with a move to Newcastle. Mm. Um, just quickly, do you think that that would be a good move just overall, Newcastle needing a player like this? Newcastle need help in a player that can break people down in 1v1 situations and players that can be creative in the attack and that can do that transition quickly in attack because it's a team that usually defends and then looks for that, uh, that type of speed. So yes, Miguel Almiron can provide some help, but there's not going to be an adjustment period here. Mm. If indeed he goes to Newcastle, once he lands there, they're going to expect him to uh, perform and perform at a level that allows Newcastle to get points. They need every point they can get, and so therefore, Miguel Almiron, there won't be any sort of honeymoon. It's like, no, bro, you're Defense. getting off the plane, you're going in there, and we see if you can help us. If you can't, then you're going back, 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 back to the bench, and we'll see who else can help us. That's the sort of club that Newcastle have become because of the need for them to get points. All right, so a lot of questions there that he might want to think of before mm -hmm. making these kind of moves. And Alejandro Moreno might need to be on his speed dial before he makes them. <laughs>